We have new details tonight in the shooting death of a rabbi that rocked a South Florida community. Tonight, members of that community gathered to memorialize the rabbi exactly one month after his cold-blooded murder. Team 6 reporter Jamie Garola is live at the very spot where that rabbi was killed and also honored tonight. Jamie? Yeah, take a look behind me. Neighbors created a candle holder and lit a candle at the same spot the rabbi was murdered. The theme and message of tonight, a little light dispels a lot of darkness. And on the way, right here, he was murdered. After 30 days of mourning, this Jewish community rocked by the murder of a rabbi is ready to turn that evil into good. His walk was abruptly interrupted. We intend to continue that walk. 60-year-old Joseph Raxon was walking to synagogue near North Miami Beach when police say he was shot and killed. Raxon was a rabbi from Brooklyn visiting his family here in South Florida. Well, when I was sitting here the first time when I was passing by, I started crying. Earlier on the same corner of the killing, Raxon's daughter and hundreds gathered for memorial and to celebrate his life with a message of hope going forward. We will continue and perpetuate his customs, his mitzvahs as a community. The community created a new scroll, or Torah, a delicate document handwritten perfectly with 300,000 letters, spreading a message of goodness, kindness, and morality. If one letter is cracked, they have to start over. So the same thing like in a community, when you have so many members, each person is a valid, intricate, you know, a, a valued, intricate part of the community. And when one gets damaged, or God forbid in this case, gets murdered, it affects everybody. This is real, and that's how I felt. I, my emotion went overflowed, and I just started crying. And I really wish and hope that this is what we are going to do. We are going to dispel the darkness and bring in light. Now, as for the investigation, police have made no arrests. All they have are vague descriptions. They say they are looking for two young suspects. One was on a bicycle, the other on foot. If you have any information, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Live in Northeast Miami-Dade, Jamie Grola, NBC6, South Florida.